what's going on guys I figure I'd give you a little walk around of the uh, new car um, it's a 2001 Buick Regal LS uh, it's nothing special it's just uh, you know an everyday car so, um, yeah it's pretty good uh, it's got 116,000 miles and I figure I'd do a little stereo demo for you guys because um, I haven't done one of this car yet so uh, it's uh, a work in progress I haven't even really done much to it except put the stereo system in it and fix you know a lot, little odd and stuff on it um, the taillights I plan on getting an LED set, set for it um, yeah that's pretty much it see if I can get this thing to really cook in here and uh, here's the miles 116,794 let me start this over now I don't have it cranked up very high because uh, it rattles real bad. I haven't done no deadening or anything to it. And the, uh, yeah. See if I can get at that low side there, see if it does anything. And I'm getting ready to do the big three on it, so it's going to be a lot better. Um, she's a, uh, she, yeah, like I said, she's a work in progress. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like this car. This is... Yeah, we'll go for a little cruise real quick. Get her up on the highway. Give her some shit. And see what happens. She's uh, really nice. I mean, it's got some, uh, got some shit that my Bonneville didn't have. You know, standard. But it's... Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it, it's a fixer-upper. It's a work in progress. Um, it's a one-owner car, and it need, needs a little bit of help. But we'll get her up on the highway, and I'll give her hell for a minute and see what happens. And uh, we'll go ahead and end the video there, because, yeah, taking the taking video on the highway with a cell phone is kind of frowned upon, I know, so I apologize for that right now. But... Uh, It's pretty comfortable on the highway. It's got some wind noise and whatnot, but you know, it's a you know just an old car. I mean, it's shit's going on what 11, 12 years old. So it's it, it it's doing the job and then some. Um, my only complaint on this car is that you know it has some hail damage on it. I'm not too keen on that, but it's. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nice car I mean, all around. I mean, it starts up every day. It gets things done. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. It handles like it's on rails. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's a really nice car. Let's see if I can get some tire spin or something. And I got this little button down here on the console, so I can get it down there. If it reads it, and it's a traction assist button. I'll get this. Uh, get to this one point here, and I'll uh, turn it off and see what happens. It might let them. Might light them up. It might not. I don't know. But. Uh, Every time I've done it and played with it, it, it lights them up like you wouldn't believe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say about the car. But it's 
yeah, I, I can't get over this. This is a nice car. The more and more I drive it, the better I like it. And the better I like it, the more I want to keep it. <laughs> I wanted something else. I wanted an Impala or something, and, or a Taurus, one or the other. But uh, I did some pricing around here on Tauruses, and they're outlandish. And for the mileage uh, on this car, I could have got a, a uh, Impala with 140k on it for the same price, and I really, I, I couldn't pass this car up. I just hit the little fun button, and it says right there, traction off. Pull the window down. See, there's nobody behind me. And she's got some balls, man. It, it, I love that. You know, it's they don't mess around at all. It's got plenty of juice. It gets decent mileage, even though I can't tell how much gas I have because I mean it fluctuates so much. Um, usually it's always stuck on full, <laughs> but you let it sit there and idle for a while, and sometimes it'll blow off to empty. So I have to park it on a hill and get a gas reading before I leave. Yeah, it's, it's just a sending unit in the trunk. It's not a big deal. I, I mean, i got to take the system out anyway before it gets too cold because uh, I don't have the money to replace uh, subs. Especially the ones I got, because they don't make them anymore. Now I'll, uh, I'll pop the trunk when I pull in the in the driveway. But it's uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't want to have any uh, messed up you know subs or fried amps because it's too cold to be messing with it like I do. I'd rather blow the interior speakers first, and because the interior speakers are all bone stock. drive here and I'll uh, pop the trunk so you guys can see that and then we'll end the video so and here we are at the crib <laughs> I don't even know if anybody says that anymore yeah we'll uh, pop it open Let's see what we got the back seats do fold down, and I just don't ever do it because it's a waste of time. And the trunk just popped. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll turn the light on. That's what I got. They're 12s, sealed box. Um, everything is kosher. <laughs> I mean, but well, there you go, guys. Um, Sorry for the a uh, such a delay in the videos, man. I haven't really. I've been so freaking busy. So um, there's the new car. Um, I'll try to get some daytime shots of it and post them up. But uh, this is all I got for now. So take her easy and uh, have a good one.